High availability is an incredibly important capability that virtual machine administrators depend on to reduce downtime with their applications. Just to be clear, high availability refers to the ability to restart an application when it encounters a failure. It doesn't mean zero downtime necessarily, but it could depending on how you've set up your load balancing, things like that. In this demo, we'll be using Red Hat OpenShift Virtualization with Portworks as the storage layer. We'll simulate a failure of a node and see what happens to our virtual machines after the failure. To begin the demo, we'll use our demo app called Portworx Barbecue to add some order information, which will be stored in a MongoDB database running in a virtual machine. When we've completed adding our food order, we'll review the orders and see that we have a total of two orders that are stored in our MongoDB database. When we switch to our CLI, we see that there is indeed a virtual machine instance named Mongo, and we can notice that it's running on a node that ends in F25ZB. If we run a get on the VMI and grep for any persistent volume claims, you'll see that we have one listed which is provided by Portworx Enterprise. From the OpenShift console, we can view some details about Portworx Enterprise through the dynamic plugin. We can also see the cluster nodes and how much capacity is assigned from each one of them, as well as other cluster info like the drive pools. When we use the storage tab, we can see our MongoDB persistent volume and the storage class that is assigned. If we drill into the PVC, we can also see what node the volume is attached to currently. Now let's simulate a failure of the node where the MongoDB virtual machine and persistent volume are running. In our lab, our OpenShift virtualization cluster is ironically running on vSphere, but that makes it easy to simulate a failure by performing a hard power off operation on the F25ZB node where our VM is running. We'll run a watch on the virtual machine instance to see what happens. You can see that after a few moments, the virtual machine gets rescheduled on another node, this time with a name ending in Q5ZZL. We can again see this in the OpenShift console and verify from the Portworx dynamic plugin that it's running on another node. To make sure our application still works, we'll re-log in to the Portworx barbecue application and add another order to prove the database connection still works after the high availability event. OpenShift provides a great solution to restart or reschedule applications on other nodes when a failure occurs. By also using Portworx as the storage layer for your applications, you can be sure that the data for those apps is replicated across nodes so that if a failure occurs on any one of those nodes, the data is available on another node as well and is ready to go in case you have a node or zone failure.